Well, a lot of school kids are going back to school now. 17-year-olds are preparing for that final year of school. One particular South African 17-year-old is preparing for a completely different challenge altogether. He has been invited to the F1 Academy in France. And I'm wow, talking wow. about Calvin van der Linde. And uh, we sent him out a tweet kind of asking how life is, is going on that side. You can see he sent a pic there, lunchtime in Chamonix in France. Beautiful. Wow. Certainly um, a very cold winter in Europe, <laughs> as Kat can testify. But we asked him how it's going, and he tweeted back to the Expresso show, great experience, workshop is focused on team building, sponsorship, and mental preparation. We'll post pics soon, cheers. And that's Calvin VD Linda, if you want to check him out on Twitter. But let's get a little background on this incredible young driver. Every now and again, sport seems to find a diamond in the rough a young talent with expertise beyond their years. Our young 17-year-old Calvin van der Linde is a prime example. Born and raised in South Africa, Calvin and his family share a strong history with motorsport. Most of the men have competed on national level. Last year, Calvin made history in becoming the youngest ever winner of the Skirocco R Cup at just 17. Calvin, your whole family has been involved in motor racing since before you were born. When did you decide that you wanted to get involved? Well, as a young three-year-old kid uh, growing up next to the racetrack, watching your family race in front of you, it's obviously uh, really a uh, nice sight. And uh, at a young age, I was really involved. You went all the way to Europe to get involved in the Scirocco R Cup. What persuaded you? Well, in 2012, I won the South African National Engine Polar Cup Championship. And the uh, prize for winning that championship was a once-off race in the Scirocco R Cup Championship. So we, we took that prize and we extended it to, to try and do the full series, which uh, really turned out well for us. The Skirocco R Cup places everyone on a level playing field, as all the cars and equipment are identical. The cars are also the most eco-friendly in the world because it's powered by natural gas. It's an amazing feeling. Uh, standing on top of an international podium with a South African national anthem playing is something that you can't replace for anything in the world. So really a great moment for me and my family and it's something we've been working towards for many years so to eventually be able to to pull it off uh, and it's something that you know a championship saying no one can ever take away from me. Motorsports is clearly your passion and now your career. What goes into your training? Well it's uh, a lot of hard work in the gym. Uh, we do a lot of cardiovascular work as well as upper body strength to, to kind of uh, work out with the forces of the uh, which we face inside the car. Obviously a lot of G-forces going through neck and arms uh, when you're going uh, around the track. So it really is important to be uh, fully prepared before a race weekend. So I do a lot of mountain biking, which I really enjoy and something I'm passionate about as well in my spare time. Well, let's put you through your paces and see what you got. Kelvin also won one of 10 spots to develop his skills as the African representative for the FIA Institute's Young Driver Excellence Academy, which should help him in achieving his dreams of one day winning the Lamar 24-hour race. Wow, I can see why you're hooked. Being a South African, competing in Europe, it must be difficult. Yeah, for sure it is. Uh, we don't generally get the exposure that Europeans do. They know all the tracks that we race on and I, I literally go there on the Friday and have to learn a brand new track that I've never driven on. So it does make it tricky, but I think it makes uh, winning even more special when it happens. And what can we expect from you in the future? Well, hopefully next year I'll be in an Audi R8 in the uh, GT Masters, which is uh, going to be a very big step for me, but I'm really looking forward to it. VW Motorsport has given me a great opportunity to step up, so let's see if we can make it happen for South Africa and keep the flag flying high. Well, you're definitely making all South Africans proud. That was just a practice round. This one's for keeps. For sure, let's do it. <laughs> We think our guest presenter, Brett, might have overestimated his driving prowess. But much like him, we're all hoping to watch Calvin race his way into even more records in the future.